squads. I, I was gonna upload yesterday. I was frustrated after that last game, but I decided, you know what? Let's not jump into this next game in a negative mindset. We gotta recoup. I took a step back, took a breather. We're gonna stick to our regular schedule, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday on pack squads. Today's the day. Lately, I've been win one, lose one, win one, lose one, and the last one was heartbreak. We out hit our opponent 11 to three. And despite all of these animations that played out in his favor, he lost by one run and we had the game tying run on third base with one out in the ninth inning and we K'd twice. He was dotting with the roll as Chapman. I tip my hat to him for how my opponent pitched late in that game. We have to be better than we were with runners in scoring position. Today, we're gonna try and get back on the wagon. Every time I get one game from Championship Series, I lose one. So now once again, we gotta win two to get to Championship Series. I'm hoping today and Sunday, bang, bang, win two back to back, get in the Championship Series by the start of next week, because we have until May 11th to make World Series. If you're new to the series, the rules are in the description box down below, along with a list of all the players we've pulled on this series that uh, we can use on our squad whenever we want. Also, the third inning program comes out tomorrow, and my boy Shane Victorino, the flying Hawaiian, is in the third inning program, 94 overall, Gold Glove Award winner card. So that's definitely who I'm gonna take, pretty much no matter what. So if you wanna come see me grind the third inning program live on Twitch, I'm gonna be live all day tomorrow. Come hang out and say what's up, hang out with the community. So let's do it. Nothing has changed from last episode. Rocking out with things as they are. Let's play. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? We got Hal Newhauser versus John Smoltz, okay. He's got some golds in his lineup. We had a team advantage here. Doesn't happen often up in these higher levels of ranked seasons. This guy, I'm, this guy's probably pretty good if he's up near championship series with this kind of team. Bruh. Juan Pierre, first pitch swinging, change up right out over the plate. Good, good's not good. I gotta put it on a t-shirt. Oh, Trevor. No doubt about it. Fastball up and away, we got the perfect, perfect. Good start. Good start. One nothing. Good change up. It's a little more elevated than you would like, but that's just on the black away off the plate. Play it on the curveball. It's full with two outs. I'm gonna look heater. He threw it. We were a little underneath of it. Just a hair. And the good good is not good. That shouldn't have been good contact though. That probably should have been okay. It was not only was I under it, it was a little bit to the left of PCI. We get one on the Trevor Story home, and we go to the bottom of the first. Drop the bump with Buxton. Perfect throw, but he just beat it. Buxton too fast. It's one, two to Todd Helton. Fouls that fastball back. Slider away. Take a speed. Tried to go away with the slider and lefty, lefty crime for Griff. He turned on it. Man, what's up with me giving up runs in the first inning with Newhauser? Missed our spot and he crushed it. Good sweeping curve there. Another foul ball. He's gotten a bunch of them this inning. Newhauser up to 14 pitches here. So back foot slider. Fouls it off again. We've got him to chase off the plate a few times here. Let's change eye level. Got to stay on the corners. Fouls that one guy again. Chase that fastball up and away. 2-2. Two -two. Sweeping curve. Swings through it. Two strikeouts on the inning. Way out in front. Wow. Three strikeouts, a push bunt, and a lefty-lefty homer. Kind of a weird inning. He takes the lead. Reggie! Javi! Are we joking? And we got on top of that change up in. 3-2, we ground out. Three up, three down on the inning. Reggie Jackson and Javi Baez both barreled meatballs right down the middle. Two.
Trey Turner hits a double to lead off the inning. Back to that heater. He's going to fly out to center. Trey Turner will have to stay at second base. Fly ball out to center again. Juan Pierre will make the play. Trey Turner will try and move up to third with two outs. One, two with two outs here on Cattell Marte. Go fastball up and away. Geese! Juan Pierre! Two outs. Perfect, perfect knock out to right. And I'll bring up Trevor Story who went deep last time. Perfect jump, we'll take second, easy there. So I have a runner in scoring position with two outs here. One, two, fastball down, hits his spot. Get down for me, you owe me one game. Uh -uh. Fly ball out the center, we got one down. Fly ball out to say, yo, Juan Pierre is a fly ball magnet. Hard ground ball up the middle. Three up, three down here in the bottom of the third. We go to the fourth. I got to get a run. Nolan Arnado! Perfect, perfect in the gap. It'll be off the wall. Bobby also had a very good swing on a, on a pitch right down the middle last time up. Four pitch walk to Reggie Jackson brings up Javi Baez. Fastball away, five straight balls. Hanging curve ball, it's 1-1. One, one. Javi just under that fastball. Griffey didn't get behind that ball, so I'm gonna send Yelich, and we are safe. Doesn't hurt the average. We're tied up. Slider, got it. That's gonna be another double. It'll score at least one. I'm gonna send Reggie because the pitcher's coming up. Give me a bad throw. Give me a bad throw. Ah. If the pitcher wasn't on deck, I definitely would have kept him at third, but was banking on a throw up the line or something. Three hits, two runs, we take the lead. Aye! Juan Pierre will make the play. One down here in the fourth. That's not where I wanted that pitch. Thankfully, it stayed way outside. Drops a bunt down with Granderson, beats the shift. Brings up Trey Turner, rolls one to third, around the horn, five, four, three, double play. Taking forever to pitch. I was honestly thinking about Button since he's done it a few times. But I'm sitting fastball down the middle. Smoked! I think he tried to play me there. He took forever to pitch, but threw the change up. I think he was maybe trying to get me out in front. And then we get thrown out trying to set just a bad jump from Juan Pierre there. And Trevor Story, that would have been a double play ball. Good squared fastball down the pipe. Three up, three down, just like that. <laughs> Fly ball out the right, Mr. October in his home ballpark makes the play. Yes! John Smoltz is a victim for another pack. Fly ball out to left, first pitch to Cattell Marte. And Newhouser's through five at 64 pitches. Hanging curve and that ball is not going to land. Way gone. Yelly bombs. My Lord. Ground ball sneaks through back up the middle. We'll have one on with one out now. Take a three! Out in front of that changeup brings up Garver in the 0-2. Way out in front of that slider, it's 
with two outs, taken off, flies out to center. That was a hanger. But lucky Garver didn't put that. Garve Sauce could have put that in the bullpen. Gary beats the shift. Gonna get the bullpen going and pinch hit here. Gonna swing Juan Soto off the bench. We need two more hits for the bonus pack. The fly ball out to left. It's not gonna have enough juice. I'm gonna have to go back to first. Just a hair under that ball. Juan Pierre's two for three. He'll step in. And Juan Pierre is going to fly out to center. He gets good okayed. We go to the bottom of the seventh. I can't string, I, I'm really, lately I haven't been able to string multiple hits together. We had our one big inning in this one. We still got two uh, more at bats in this one to try and get some more packs though. Nasty Tommy Canely change up. He chases it for another strikeout. I think we're gonna get the 10K bonus today. Fly ball out to left, that'll be two down. Fastball down and away, locked him up! Frozen popsicles! I'll take a SpongeBob! Trevor Story! Oh, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out! All right. One more hit for the bonus packs. I want a big inning. Yelly! He does it again! Did he quit? Wait, did he quit? I was sending with, oh no, that's not gonna count if he quit. It didn't land. Oh no, that's not gonna count on yellow to stats. We won 6-2, but it's gonna show 4-2 on the record. All right, we had 10 hits, two walks, six runs, two homers, one stolen base. We threw out a base runner trying to steal. We had eight strikeouts with our pitching staff. Um, that's 33 packs. We get two bonus packs for having 10 or more hits. That's 35 in total. Again, the Yelich home run doesn't count on the box score because he quit as soon as I made contact with the ball and it never landed. We are counting those on our, I, honestly, the ball may have been going foul. I don't even know. Pretty sure it was fair though, because he uh, he pulled the ejecto cedo cuz. 35 packs to open, there will be just one left and we are done and we now have two special packs. We were sitting on one, we now have two that we can use and I'm getting very close to level one gold. So you already know where we're going with that. Just come on, baby. Give me a diamond to go along with this lovely gameplay today. Got off to a slow start. I thought I thought it was gonna be another one of those games, man. Had a couple barrels early on, right up right at people. He was dropping bunts down for succession. Again, if we win the next game, we should make championship series. It's been a while since we won two in a row on pack squads. Diamond Field, Shea Stadium, 25 more. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Show me blue! Today should be the day we go trout fishing. Allow it to happen, please. I need Mike Trout like I need my Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Like I need my Chick-fil-A sauce with my nuggies. Gold, Mitch Garver. Feed me trout. Or any diamond for that matter, please. Or just some golds that I can sell. <laughs> Come on, baby. I got good feelings. 17 more packs to go. This is gonna end on a good note, I know it. Chad Green, it's coming, guys. I can sense it. Just gotta make sure I don't auto flip it. I've been doing that a lot this year. Drew Smiley, Philly's legend. 13 more, lucky number 13. All right, all right. Technically it wasn't the 13th of my inventory, this was. Nope, that's not doing it. Okay, 11 more. 10 more, down to our last 10. We are in the single digits, ladies and gentlemen. Eight to go. Yelich is an absolute machine, by the way. If we didn't already know this from last year's pack squads, I just, I love that man's swing. I got all the timing. I did all the timing in the world with Yelich. I had okay contact on that last home run where he rage quit. Everything's a moonshot. 
We're gonna completely disregard the fact that we played a guy who had a, a speed cheese lineup and he was dropping bunts everywhere. He turned the rain on in online play. Now I'm okay with bunting. Nothing wrong with having speed guys in your lineup, but when you combine all those factors, it's like you know you're playing a troll. Dropping bunts with a cheese lineup with the rain on in Yankee Stadium. Little weird, it's all right though. We won our game today, we played pretty well. Uh, Newhauser pitched well. Um, the next episode, why is it taking so long for Kluber to get his energy back? Uh, we will pitch, I guess we'll throw Sixto Sanchez in the next one, and then Kluber should be ready after the next game. Um, we could honestly use him out of relief if we absolutely need to, because again, I want to make championship series very, very badly. And depending on the opponent that we get matched up with, we very well could get in in the next game. So if you're excited for that on Sunday, hit the thumbs up down below. Big third inning program coming out in the game tomorrow. Come hang out on Twitch. I'll be live all day tomorrow. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Real Shelby. Definitely go follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get the 20K. I'd appreciate it. I'm out, guys. Peace. Video. I am going to put him at shortstop. I thought about putting him at second and Trevor Story at shortstop because when you're in your secondary position, you lose five points to your fielding. So Trevor Story is going to go down to an 80 fielding at second base with the 90 arm strength. Javi's going to stay at his 92. We could have kept Javi at second, then Javi would have had 87 fielding. Trevor Story would have had his 85, but I want that 98 arm strength at shortstop. I just think that it's important. So we're going to put Javi in the lineup. Cattell Marte is going to slide to the bench where we will have Acuna.